right, we're back. I'm Miss Jane and this is Kylan, my assistant, and we are going to show you all how to paint a sunflower. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna do our, um, the tone. All right, so we're just painting the whole thing orange. Looks good. All right, so you can take it and put it in the sun. So Kylan's gonna start our drawing with chalk and she's gonna do kind of the middle of the sunflower first. And then she's gonna make a bigger circle around that and that's, that's where we want all our petals to reach. All right, so then she's gonna kind of make it look like a sun Hint sunflower. So these are going to be the middle of our petals. All right. Awesome. So then she's going to take those petals and make them a little bit different, uh, a little bit thicker. And so we're trying to get all the petals to kind of reach that outer circle. Very nice. Alright, so now the bigger circle kind of just gives us, um, it's kind of just like a little guide. So we have about the same size flowers. That looks awesome. Alright, and then we can take the in-betweens. There you go. And then we'll show you how we erase the chalk so easily with just that brush and water. There's like a bounce of bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is a little wet spot. Wet. That's okay. Alright, and then go ahead, before we erase those lines, go ahead and give us a, um, a stem. And then maybe some leaves. So we're looking at these sunflowers. For inspiration. Nice. So look how some of those are kind of just like falling over, kind of. Yeah, even bigger, like what shape are those leaves? Or even more like circle. Yeah, there you go. Yes, I like that. Alright, so we've got our sunflower in the front, so on, you can go ahead and erase with your, just the water. Nice. Alright, so what do you think we should do kind of behind it? Should we put some more flowers? Have you ever been to one of those huge sunflower fields? Mm, I don't remember. You don't remember? 
I want to go. Okay, so she's doing that process again, the little circle, then the big circle, and then making it the sun. Alright, so let's see. We've got a lot in this area, so we need to think about what's happening here. So, you know, you could have one going, step back a little bit. So sometimes it's important to step back and kind of look. So maybe we want something coming like right here. We could even do one, you know, more facing that, like facing up a little bit. So instead of being a perf perfect circle, this one would be kind of an oval. So like going this way, and the sun and the the circle would be like this, and this little short leaves right there. So try that, and then it will be coming. And let's get it. Let's make it go a little bit behind. Some overlapping is nice. Yeah, so those leaves wouldn't be as big because they're kind of pointing like at us. So sunflowers always grow towards the sun. All right, so if that it so nice and then the thing so if that's true if sunflowers always grow towards the sun then our sun is somewhere over here nice all right maybe just a couple more um i like that one we want it to like you want it your you want your eyes to be able to move across so it's like I look at this and then I look at that and then I come down here and so maybe a little guy right here. And sometimes I like to do um, kind of make numbers that are significant to me. So like when I paint honey bears, I like to draw five honey bears a lot because I have five people in my family. Or three honey bears because there's three kids. So you can make these kind of represent your family. So how many more you, did you need? Like, well, well, these are just the unlimited. Kids. So these are just kids <laughs> right here. Now yep. we need like two more. You'd have to add more. I have to, to add two more, like one here, here, <laughs> like here. All right. Very nice. I think that's looking good.
or maybe one more that's kind of overlapped. So yeah, like coming up this way or. So like this, it's like a circle right here. Oh yeah. Right, and then where's that stem gonna come down? Kind of right here. here, yep. So just skip over that, yep, perfect. All right, so let's start painting and then, uh, or do you wanna add one more? One more. One more. <laughs> Maybe right here. Here, let's step back. Step back and see where we need, where a good one would fit. You could either do, maybe a little one right here. Yeah, yeah I like, like a little yeah, one right I think there. that's where you're going to. It's like right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't be afraid. Uh, overlap over those leaves. Don't worry about them. Just, um, yeah. Alright, and then we'll kind of clean it up a little bit with the water and the brush. So that's why we use chalk. It's very easy to erase if we have to, and because Miss Jane never has pencil sharpeners. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right, so you want to clean that up just a little bit with the, um... I guess I'm going to use a small brush. Yeah. You don't have to do all of it, but, you know, yeah, it's that's, that's good. Part. It's a little confusing. Yeah. So make sure, just find, find your petals in there. Just so that it's not confusing to you. Ready to paint? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so first, let's see. Let's show what um, paint we have. Alright, so we've got our orange we use for a background, yellow, and so these will be the petals, and then we've got gr two different greens for the leaves, um, a color for possibly the sky, and then brown for our middle, and then we have white in case we need that. So we want to mix up kind of a yellowy orange for the first layer. So yeah, just kind of make a little pile right there. Throw a little bit of orange in it. All right, so this is going to be for... We're going to do the, be the behind leaves, yeah. So the leaves that are in the back. We're going to assume those are a little bit darker. And so make sure when you're, um, you might could use a bigger brush. Let's use this brush. So this is a nice brush to use. Um, it's a round brush. So it, the tip almost looks like um, a petal. So you can start from the top and kind of pull what you're doing back to you. So.
nice. So we want this, these leaves in the back to be just a little bit darker than the leaves that we're going to put in the front. That's why we had a tad bit of orange. Alright, make sure you get enough water on that brush. We need it. the that center part. So now let's go bright yellow. Alright, so we just used our kind of orangey yellow for those back leaves and now we're going to go kind of straight bright yellow. And when these guys, since they're in the front, we want to make sure they're a little... Our, we want our edges to be really nice. when we did those two different colors. Mm -hmm. 
And that's kind of why we started with orange first, because it, you know, we leave a little bit of that space showing, and it just looks like we did that on purpose. So it was part of the flower. Because of the bugs, I'm gonna come in and help you. <laughs> it's gonna look like we have chicken fox. Mm -hmm. The mosquitoes love me. Do they like you too? Yeah. Not yeah. as much as my sister. But yeah. All right, so next we'll, before we do the brown, we'll let the yellow dry a little bit. So let's go ahead and go to the green. So just like we did with the yellow, we're going to start with the darker green. So the trick it for le like leaves and petals, we kind of want to make them kind of look organic, you know, because they're in nature. So we want them all to be a little bit different. So don't feel like you got to follow the lines. And then like some of them, this one up here, I'm going to put stuff kind of coming out there and then we'll use a skinny brush for the stems so we're just kind of getting the leaves nice all right then get that um get a, a thin brush one and uh, do the stems and we want to go from the top down not up like that mm -hmm. so nice and nice and smooth no clumps on the brush very good And then we can just put like some leaves just kind of coming up to take up some of that space. Alright, so, oh, this, these two, and then we'll go to our sky. Good. So 
so right so the stem goes right behind that one it doesn't move around it's overlapping All right, and then let's just take some of another green and just kind of add in, you know, maybe some kind of pieces of grass or leaves or just some, you know, some green stuff down here. That's like behind. Here, try this brush. Just about, yeah, around here is where I feel like our grass kind of stops. All right, so then we're going to go in with the, our blue sky and start coming down. Start in the corner, and as you get to your sunflowers, you're going to be real careful to kind of go. Yep. So you're kind of cutting into them. And you can actually, if like maybe your leaves got smushed a little bit, this is when you can fix them. So, like right here, they kind of got clumped up, so we can just go in and It's all right if some kind of orange sticks out. I think that looks cool. Yeah, see, so you, you just made a really pointy, nice <laughs> petal right there. But another reason we did that orange background. I gotta get some more assistance. This is easy. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's easy when you do all the work.
So yeah, you're gonna end right around here. So go ahead and do this side and get it, get your levels kind of the same. Next, let's do the brown part. So try to start in the middle and then go out instead of I feel like a lot of people would outline that and then fill it in you with painting because sometimes you can get too much paint and it just squirts everywhere you want to kind of start in the middle like you did and then pull it out to the circle it's really coming together now Oops. Did I do that? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a little highlight. All right, what do you think? I like it. Me too. A little bit of blue in there. So now we just kind of look and see if there's anything we want to add and I think everything looks really nice. I think you can get sign it down here. Probably with like the blue or white. Yeah, I like the blue. Your head again. <laughs> that was a piece de resistance. The last initial. Love it, girl. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Show us your sunflowers. And like and subscribe and check back for more videos. <laughs>